a new Spider-Man movie is on its way. It's coming out. It's it's uh making its grand debut. Um, and that makes it a natural time to think about the old ones, I suppose. Uh, you know, it, it's always fun to think about Spider-Man. Um, personally, uh, Andrew Garfield embodied much of what I liked about the character, and the direction at least allowed him to display more of Spider-Man's Spider um, trademark humor in combat <clears throat> than... Uh, anything I saw in the Raimi films. Um, he's the quippy thwipster, you know? You can't have one without the other. You need both, guys. You need both. Um, I don't have a huge issue with Toby, uh, but he is on the dour side, and while his voice work in films like Cats and Dogs and The Boss Baby uh, ably demonstrates um, that he can be quite expressive vocally, uh, I find that his face just isn't naturally emotive. Um, and for a superhero, he doesn't actually spend enough time in a mask for that to be unnoticeable. Um, in fairness, I'm sure that Depressive Spidey is the iconic version to many, um, as Brooding Batman is to hordes of people who've grown up since the 70s. Um, I won't deny that there's a sadness at the core of Peter Parker, but I preferred its more neurotic manifestations. The Spider-Man who related to me uh, was closer to a bratty Woody Allen than he was to Willie Loman. Um, speaking of Batman, uh, I relished Harry Osborn's uh, development over the course of the Raimi trilogy. Uh, by the end, he did seem, from his perspective, like a hero in that Bruce Wayne tradition. Uh, he thinks that Spider-Man's this monster who took his father's life, and he takes up a mask and gadgets to get that vengeance. Uh, he even had the patiently affectionate old butler. Um, Harry just happened to be wrong. Um, honestly, I, I did cherish the... Uh, uh, cast of those movies. If you switched in Garfield for Maguire, it's basically perfect. Um, and that has to be at least a part of uh, the reason for my inability to find significant fault uh, with the movies uh, Garfield starred in. Um, you gave me the Spider-Man I recognized. You gave me the most important part. Um, but honestly, much of the rest of those seemed in enjoyable too. Like Emma Stone, for instance, like as Kirsten, eh, as Kirsten Dunst did before her, uh, she played an unconventional but interesting version of a classic Spidey girl. And then there's Jamie Foxx's Electro, who's clearly been taking classes at the Notice Me Senpai uh, School of Villainy. Uh, a venerable institution that includes, among its alumni, the Jim Carrey Riddler and the Guy Pierce Mandarin. Um, the Topher Grace Venom applied, but he was denied for excessive cologne use. Um, it's a bit of a shame. Like, he would have been at the top of his class in imitating the Envied Hero 101. Oh, and Paul Giamatti. Moi! As uh, the Rhino. Double moi. Um, and I just realized that it follows in the uh, tradition of ending a set of Spider-Man movies by giving a bad guy uh, role to a lead from Sideways.